Well, a good evening, woman of truth. I have to give you an update on what I've done. This is my first little cabinet that I have built. And I actually just picked this up from just a Dollar General store because I wanted, the, the, the dimensions was correct. And I wanted to see what a box cabinet was gonna look like. And I just started messing around with it and I ended up loving the pairing of cedar and pine or cedar and poplar. I, I, I can't remember what it is, but, but I just know I love the look. And I made this little, because this is such an odd shaped space, it would have been wasted. So I created a little nook where you can have like nine uh, canned goods. Actually, 12 canned goods are gonna fit in here because I can actually make a, another, a fourth little shelf. But look at that wood. I have to admit, um, I watched my ex-husband, who was a master cabinet builder, build cabinets for nearly 17 years. And though uh, there are a lot of flaws here, and I would have loved to hide this piano, the piano hinges, but because there's a lot of metal in here, I can get away with showing the piano hinge. I'd rather hide it, but I tried, and I just could not successfully hide them. So, but like I said, because there is a show of metal in this look, um, I can get away with that. So here we are. I've started to trim out in cedar and then pine. So we have pine and cedar. I'm doing that because you have to have something to mount box cabinets to. Now in this corner here, I've changed it up a little. Instead of putting the little wood stove that's going to go in the center or was going to go in the center, and ideally that is beautiful. But in this tiny structure, it just makes more sense to, to move that operation over here. So where this TV, this is not where the TV goes. It's just sitting here because until I tongue and groove it, uh, the ceiling, I cannot mount this TV on the ceiling until I get that tongue and groove done. So right here, <clears throat> if you, <I'm, clears throat> that's the nose, okay? So from 12 inches past the nose, okay? Actually, no. From the nose all the way to the right side, I'm going to give some space because we want to give that little tiny wood stove all the space it needs according to the specs. So we'll, we'll do that in here and then whatever space is left over, uh, we can use. Now, I didn't need any more of this space because I mounted the microwave on L brackets that I already had and just a piece of the wood that was cut out from this countertop material. And I'm actually going to purchase a, um, a toaster oven. And I'm gonna mount that toaster oven right underneath here. And, uh, and then the sink, I'm gonna make sure I get a small toaster oven. The sink is gonna go here. So I, I need to make sure that I don't have too much going on there. Now over here is where the induction burners are gonna go. I have this entire space on over the refrigerator. I moved the refrigerator from this area because here it has to sit on a funny angle and it takes up all this leg space and foot space. But here it's perfectly out of the way and look what it does. It frees up all this space under the cabinet. Now I'm gonna have at least uh, one tank under here, maybe two. I know I'll have a tank and a hot water heater, just one of the small uh, hot water heaters. But look at this. I will leave that space back there for one of the tanks or the hot water heater and look at all this space. If I can keep this space relatively clear and have only one tank and a hot water heater, I can actually create a little pantry in here. And I'm super excited at that prospect uh, because that would be really awesome. Um, so I have started and I've done a lot of trimming out. Check out the little windowsill. I know it looks like you handed a toddler a bucket of wood pieces and said, okay, honey, make mama something. <laughs> but anyway, I love my adorable little uh, windowsill. <clears throat> I just took 
geometric shapes like a child would and I created a cute little windowsill and it worked perfectly because you have this metal that was cut out and I did a good job cutting the metal uh, but it that metal leaves a gap and you want to close in that gap so that you can caulk around everything but you, that's a pretty big gap that this um, beveled uh, metal creates. Now here, of course, I will trim all this out with cedar, but I'm not going to do it yet until the, the uh, sink is set into the countertop and the, uh, the induction burners are set into the countertop. And once all that is set in, uh, I can go ahead and do all the trimming. Now I did do quite a bit of trimming as you can see, and I've puttied the holes, done a lot of sanding. I've beamed out the top uh, because whether, you know, uh, over here we may, you know, this may just be temporary and we may just put box cabinets, um, but you have to have something to mount it to. I trimmed out the door um, and I'm loving the trim. Now, my granddaughter said, Meme, why did you put these beams here all the way down on this one side? And I tried to explain to her that here on the end, between this metal beam and that metal beam that's over here, we're gonna have a window, 18 by 27, that's gonna be for the air conditioning. But I kind of need these beams to keep that paneling nice and solid and flat uh, because that paneling doesn't wanna sit well. God was so kind to me look how well I cut out these edges. I, I'm not bragging. Trust me, I know my limitations. But when you pray about something and you just say, Lord, show me how to do it. Boy, he, he helped me get those corners and those angles right on the money. And I'll have Bill, because I suck at caulking, I'll have Bill run me a bead of black caulk around each window. And of course, we have a bit of a bigger gap but when when Bill saw this window that I did he said he he complimented me on this one and I said oh you're kidding me that's horrible and he complimented me on it so I can't wait to show Bill these <laughs> that are just like super tight and uh, I can't wait you know it's exciting to accomplish something a little like that but yes um, I'll have him caulk these out with a bead of black and it'll hide every little mistake I love the cedar that I'm trimming it out with, and I'm in love with the combination of cedar and the other wood. I don't know if it's pine or poplar, but um, I do regret, like I said in the last video, not getting butcher block, and I may at the last minute change my mind and rush out and go purchase a piece of butcher block and just repeat what we've got here. Uh, but this, this, this wood is so soft that if I just drop, let's just say I were to drop this TV control or this fire stick control. I mean, it's just so, so soft. And even, I know I can waterproof it and I'm gonna have to, but still, the butcher block is just so much different. This is my little bedroll I brought out here just for the time being. I'm still um, trying to figure out how I'm gonna pull off purchasing a queen size mattress should I hire the professionals to do it, give them my dimensions, show them the layout of my trailer and let the experts do it, or should I do it myself? Um, tell me what you think. Give me your ideas. I don't want to screw up an expensive mattress. Also, the window uh, sill that I created over here, again, loving the, the, uh, the contrast of the two woods. Um, wow, I have fallen in love with working with wood. I kid you not, with all this beautiful wood in here, I'm so tempted to, to, to get rid of this piece of plywood here and this piece of plywood here. That's the only plywood I have left. And, and then I think, yeah, over here under this main uh, box, I'm tempted to just get rid of it, but why it's you know it's going to be covered again give me your opinion i'm excited it's coming along the air conditioner arrived today just waiting on that window being cut out i can put it in and the moment that that air conditioning is in if the weather is still in the 70s and 80s like this 
Um, I'm going to go on and take myself a, a, a little tiny vacation to Chincoteague or Assateague. And uh, I'm going to enjoy uh, the season and enjoy getting used to this little space. So my, my next really big thing is get the generator and make a decision on whether I'm going to have somebody uh, cut the mattress pieces for me and upholster, you know, do the upholstery or do it myself. Um, so this is it. It's really coming along. I'm excited. I am going to purchase a fan. I've heard so many good reviews about the fantastic fan. Give me your, your opinion on what we should do here. Um, should I, you know, since I'm not going to have a, an air unit here or a heat unit here, then of course I'd like to put a fan, a nice fan. Get this thing off the counter because right now uh, this is what I've been using while I did my build. So this is that, and uh, this is the update. It's coming along good. Tell me what you think. Have a wonderful evening, folks. God bless you, and uh, God bless America.